Hi everyone, welcome to Eckhart Yoga. My name is Esther Eckhart and um, I would like to show you an exercise you can do when you've got tight shoulders and um, upper arms and perhaps neck. And it's really, really helpful to release that whole area. So we're going to start lying on our back. And you can place your feet on the floor, hip width apart, soles of the feet parallel to each other. And then just take a moment and comfortably bring your arms out and really here just tune in to feeling the weight of the shoulder blades on the floor, just release completely. And release the elbows as well. One more breath here, just letting go. And then taking your arms up. And here you can also take your shoulders off the floor. And then while the shoulders are off the floor, you're going to bring the arm bones back into the shoulder sockets and then the shoulder blades onto the floor and a little bit down the back. And then you're going to take your elbows out a little and release them onto the floor. And then you're going to take your palms out and onto the floor. Palms facing up. Exhale, bring your right knee in and then your left knee. Inhale here and exhale, bring both knees down to the left. And as you very slowly bring the knees down to the left, you're going to keep your right shoulder grounded and connected to the floor. So that means your top knee, my top knee doesn't completely come on, to, to, come on top of the bottom knee because I make my shoulder blade more important than that the knee comes down. Okay, so keep that. Just take a moment here to feel the body. You can take your right arm up a little, and when you take your right arm up, you can draw your right shoulder blade a little bit more into the body. It's those opposite movements. Okay, and then we're going to take a few circles to release the shoulder. So now take your right palm to the floor, and then sweep your arm along the floor so you're not lifting it off the floor. It's on the floor, sweep it down, and then onto your hips, roll onto your left side down onto the floor again and then bring palm to palm and then take that right arm up and over the head and the moment you go over the head you roll back onto the upper back and you also feel the palm naturally turn upwards again and then re-establish the shoulder blade onto the floor and bring that arm back out to your side and we repeat palm down again brush along the floor up over the hips turn onto your left side hand back to the floor palm to palm and then up and over again and the moment you take your arm over the head and you roll back, you can feel the palm turning back up and re-establish that shoulder blade onto the floor and into the body. And again, one more time, brushing down, exhaling, inhale up over the head, re-establish your shoulder blades and come back to the side. So just take a moment here, feel the body. So when you do this, for yourself at home, you could take more time. You could do this much slower. You can roll and make those circles with the arms, maybe five times even. And then lift your top leg up, let the bottom leg follow. And we're going to repeat this whole thing to the other side. So you're going to take your arms out and very slowly with control, taking your knees down to your right as you keep your left shoulder blade connected. So only as far as the knees come down, the shoulder blades is your anchor. So you take your left arm up, you can feel how easily you draw the left shoulder blade down the back and onto the back. So you give it a real place. And just take a moment here to feel the body and breathe into it. And then we're going to do that again. So turn the palm down and brush that arm along the floor. Let the elbow be heavy, arm be heavy over the hips, back to the floor, palm to palm. Then bring that arm back over your head, palm still down, and when it moves over the head and you roll back, naturally the palms turns upward again. And another circle, exhale. And inhaling up and over. Re-establish that shoulder blade onto the floor again. Last one. And up and over, inhale. And be here, feel. One 
from our breath. And then lifting your left knee, your right knee follows. Hold the backs of the knees, curl yourself up like a little ball, and then rock forward and backward over the spine and roll back up. Okay? So, quick exercise really works at the end of the day. If you've been working on a computer all day, really very helpful. Um, try it out and let me know if it works for you. And of course, if you want to see this sequence into a full yoga class or any other kind of longer classes, please go to my website, EckhartYoga.com. There's hundreds of full-length yoga classes to be found for me and different teachers. Thank you. Thank you.